In this video, I'm going to show you how to create sub accounts within your chart of accounts in Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I'm a Zoho Finance Partner at AIO Bookkeeping. At AIO Bookkeeping, we help business owners do business better by getting their bookkeeping in order and reconnecting them with their business finances. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. I am back on the chart of accounts and this time I want to talk about sub accounts. So sub accounts are child accounts created under a parent account. It really helps to track the income and expenses of the parent account. Um, why would you want to do this? It's helpful if maybe you want to see a breakdown that's more specific than a generalized category. So for example, if you want to see how all of your travel expenses are actually broken out, you might create sub accounts like airfare or lodging or vehicle rentals under your travel travel account. Um, other examples might be different um, income types that you want to see under, under your sales, or uh, we see this often in cost of goods sold, so you might have a category of cost of goods sold and sub accounts under there, uh, as well as payroll. So payroll expenses might be broken out into wages and salaries, as well as payroll fees um, and things of that nature. So sub accounts are used pretty often and really help you drill down into the data, and I'm going to show you how to create create those. It's pretty simple. I'm on my charts of accounts and I'm going to go with the example that I gave you with travel. So I have a travel expense category and I want to create some subcategories. Um, I'm going to start with an, an account that already exists in Soho, which is lodging. So let's say I want to put this lodging um, existing account in as a sub account of the travel expenses. If I hover over the gear icon and I click edit, I can click this box that says make this a sub account. So if I click the box, it'll ask me what parent account do you want? So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to pick the travel expense option. And then I'm just going to click save. Let this reload. And then if you notice, it created like a folder. So now you can tell that this lodging account is a sub account of the travel expense. And um, it shows up this way. I'm going to go ahead and create, let's say, a new I'm going to create a new account and I'm going to create a new expense account. I'm going to put it under this travel expenses. Let's say it's for um, air, airfare. Again, I'm just going to make this a sub account and click travel expenses. You'll actually see the sub account here as well um, if you wanted to make a sub account under the sub account. Uh, so I'm going to click travel expenses and then I'm going to click the save button. And if you scroll down, you'll see that it's now there's two child accounts under that one parent account. And the other thing I really want to show you is how this shows up on your PL. So to do that, I'm going to put some transactions into these accounts and then I'll show you how it looks on your PL. So first of all, I'm going to give you the before. So if I click on my PL here, if I scroll down, you'll see that I have travel expenses here on the PL and it's just by itself. So with my new with my new accounts here, they won't show up until there's actually transactions in there. So I'm going to put a couple of transactions in there and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like on the PL. All right, so I added some transactions to the to those accounts. So if I scroll down, you'll notice now I can see the sub account. Um, the nice part is the travel expense, it will incorporate um, whatever's actually in, in that category. And then you'll see the breakdown here of airfare and large, lodging, and then you'll actually see a total. So the total for this, all this category here is this 82871. And if I don't want to see the details, I can close it up and it'll put that travel expenses. So it's a nice way to see the breakdown of additional transactions within that specific category. And that's all there is to creating sub accounts in Zoho Books. Hopefully you'll be able to use that feature and functionality and um, view your reporting in a little bit of a different way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.